Piccolo. Um, <laughs> there we go. Holy cow. It's going to be one of those Mondays. Good morning, hotties. <laughs> Jeez. Happy Monday. Hey babies. Hey. Did you guys have a good weekend? I went out and partied at my friend's bar. I was supposed to go on a date, but I was not feeling it and I canceled it. <laughs> he he had way too many red flags. So we canceled that and we just went out with the girls instead. Good morning. How's everybody doing? Are we ready to get started? Let's just get right into it. This will be uploaded so you can watch it again if you miss any of it or if you just want to watch it again. Water babies, I can see you guys freaking out. So water signs get to go first. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio gang is number one today. Number two, who's number two? Fire babies, fire signs, my sexy fire signs, Aries Leo Sag. Everybody tap in and get the collective in here, please and thank you. Tap that screen. Who's number three? Air babies. Air signs, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. That means Earth Babies are in the corner today. Sorry, Earth Babies, you're last. Taurus, Virgo, Cappy. And as usual, we'll do the collective reading at the end. So stay until the end if you want to hear good advice from Spirit. Boop, boop, boop. All right. Where's everybody at? Here's the menu. We got a bunch of the collective missing today. I can see that. Holy cow, what the heck? Wake up, collective. It's time to go. All right, tap that screen, you guys. Get me on the FYP. Let's fight against the algorithm today, because damn, nobody's here. I mean, there's like half of you guys are here. We're going to use this deck today for the Oracle deck. All right, here we go. You didn't get a notification that I'm on? See, we got to fight against the algorithm. TikTok daddy has been doing me dirty. Water babies. Anybody that's dealing with a water sign, you guys can cross watch and see if it resonates for you as well. 
Let's see what's going on with water signs in love. This should resonate right now or in the near future. Water babies. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio babies. Do we have an e eclipse going on? I think there's an eclipse tonight. Am I right? A lunar eclipse. Oh man, that means the energy is going to be crazy. Okay. Lunar eclipse. All right, here we go. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. What do we got, Spirit? For water babies. What's going on with water signs? Thank you, Tiffany, for all the roses. Thank you, babe. Ooh, we got abundance. Nice. We like that. Receiving exactly what you want. And we got photograph. Someone's been looking at your pictures and missing you. Aww. Okay. Bottom of the deck is separation. So yeah, there's somebody that, again, it says missing you, thinking about you, yearning for you. Someone misses my water babies. Okay. Make sure you stay hydrated. I feel like I kind of lost my voice on Saturday. I partied a little too hard. Okay, tell us about water signs, spirit. What is going on with water babies? Give us all the good news. Thank you, Jen. Thank you for the heart puff. Oh my gosh, who is this? This is somebody from your past, Six of Cups. Two cards here about somebody like thinking about the memories with you, missing you, wanting to come back into your life. They have good memories with you. You made this person feel really good. You give this person like butterflies, yummy feeling. That's also past life connection. <laughs> I wonder which X it is, she said. <laughs> it's definitely an X. It's somebody that gets really turned on by you, Ace of Wands. Somebody that's super attracted to you. The chemistry between the two of you is really strong. This person's very passionate about you. I'm getting also like just looking at your pictures makes this person like boy yo yoing. <laughs> so they get turned on just by like seeing pictures of you. Ace of Wands. We got that Ace of We got the peen on the altar today. <laughs> Knight of Wands, this person might have been inconsistent though, hot and cold toward you. They have a lot of passion. Like I said, this person has like a lot of chemistry with you. Like you guys are both very attracted to each other. It looks like they have a passionate memory with you as well. Like you guys have had some sort of exciting time together that they keep thinking about. There's Aries Leo Sagittarius energy here for someone. King of Pennies. Okay. So they're coming back in wanting to be more stable. Like I said, they could have been inconsistent, but now they're coming in as like wanting to be more stable toward you. 
earth sign energy Taurus Virgo Capricorn and fire sign energy so they could just have a lot of that in their chart or they could literally be a fire sign or an earth sign the bottom of the deck two of cups see how her hair is like standing up that's the vibe I'm definitely getting from this connection there's like a lot of passion between you two there's a spark there like you make this person's hair stand up kind of vibe you know <laughs> very attracted to you and it feels like it's mutual you guys both care about each other that's that two of cups energy like the feelings are mutual yeah because you're getting what you wanted so it's like you guys wanted this person to come back you want to reunite with this person as well you guys both want this reunion with each other. The hanged man. So there's something that has changed about their perspective. They're thinking differently now. So that's part of why they're moving from this unstable energy that they were in where they were like unpredictable to more stable king of pentacles king of pentacles is somebody like as you can see in the picture it's like a daddy energy we call him zaddy <laughs> the king of pentacles he's somebody that's good in a relationship long term somebody that knows how to be consistent and stable and be there for you reliable somebody you can rely on but he had this energy of like being unreliable it looks like but that's this hanged man is a change in perspective so something has changed with this person Power, unexpected changes. That's the eclipse energy, big time. The tower. So an unexpected, passionate new beginning between the two of you. Where things are different. This is like huge changes. But it's in a good way because it's with the Ace of Wands. So it's like a passionate new change. Exciting change. A good change. high priestess you and this person have strong telepathy like you guys can feel each other energetically even when you're in separation thank you foxy thanks for the gifts you guys so this is somebody that you're very like you get signs about each other you guys think about each other a lot you can feel it when you're thinking about each other there's like a psychic connection between you two you might think about this person and then they message you The magician that's this energy right here manifesting exactly what you want and being grateful for it so you guys are going to appreciate that things are different and that you're getting what you want this is being grateful that the universe is delivering the package you've been waiting for <laughs> so you guys wanted this this is for those of you where you want to reconcile with somebody the magician and holy cow these are all major arcana down here which signifies like not only does this signify huge changes but major arcana is like major life changes so you have that four times all the all the cards that came out at the end are all about change and it's good change it's the change that you wanted to see it's the change that you were hoping would happen and I see you and this person making new memories together as well. So it's not over. You guys are going to have fun with each other again. 
It's going to be a very positive reunion between the two of you where things go really well. There's been a big shift, especially with this person's energy, because like I said, they were coming through as being like wishy-washy or hot and cold or something, and then they're moving to this stable new perspective. You guys might have felt this coming too. Like you could feel that things weren't over between the two of you. You could feel that there's unfinished business here. You're coming through as very strong intuition. And like I said, really strong telepathic connection between the two of you. So it's like you could feel this isn't over. You could feel that this connection might end up coming back together and you're right and it looks like that's what you were wanting okay that's what I got for you water babies good news you get what you want you don't always get what you want but this time you're getting what you want water babies okay Let's hydrate and do fire signs. Where's my sexy fire babies? You're welcome, Maria. My hot fire signs, where are you at? Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And anybody that's dealing with a sexy fire baby, you guys can cross watch and see if it resonates. Remember, I will never follow you or message you trying to get a reading. If anybody's doing that, just block them, please. I'm not following anybody. If you look at my account, I follow zero people. Whoa. Six of Wands fire signs. You guys are successful right now or in the spotlight. Some sort of success coming for fire signs. I do private readings on my website, amysalter.com. The link for that is in my bio. If you want a personal reading, that is the only place you can get it. My website, it's an official website, amysalter.com, just like my name on all my platforms. That's also where you guys can get bracelets. I have crystal bracelets there. I'm going to make some more wire wrapped pendants because I sold out of those. So I'm working on a few of those right now. If you guys like crystal jewelry, that's where you can find it. Oh. Okay. Aries Leo Sag. Thank you, Kimberly, for the gifts. Thank you guys so much. Sending all that good energy back to you. What do we got for fire babies? Are we stalling for the fire signs? <laughs> that always happens. Okay, coffee cup. Whoa, what's that? And wedding rings? Interesting. I'm not taking that, but it wanted to come out. Stabbed in the back. Okay. So there's a separation going on with pro possibly like a long-term connection for this group of fire signs. It's like leaving something, leaving a connection that's been around for a long time and meeting, some, I'm getting like meeting up with somebody new. 
meeting and getting to know somebody new after dealing with a long-term situation. It looks like you guys still have some heartbreak or pain from this separation. Stress. There's something about the connection that you were just in that was like very unexpected. You could even have like some PTSD from it. I, yeah, I'm getting like you have some really tough memories with the connection you were just dealing with. But you're still open to meeting new people. And I do see you meeting up with someone here, talking to somebody new. Yeah, the Hierophant. You could have actually been married or just in some sort of a long-term situation with somebody that was really stubborn. Somebody that caused you a lot of pain. Somebody that was unwilling to change and work through things with you. It, there was somebody here that you just dealt with that was like difficult to deal with. Really difficult situation. And I'm getting this vibe of like, there's some tough feelings there, but you're actually going to end up doing better by separating from that person, getting away from whoever they are. Your life is going to feel more peaceful without them. Some of you could have been really isolated because of this past connection. Like, you're reconnecting with friends and people that you haven't connected with for a while because of that connection kind of consumed you. There's a Taurus energy here for someone. Eight of Cups. That's walking away. Yeah, so you guys are moving on from somebody. Somebody that definitely hurt you. The bigger the mountain, the bigger the muscles. See the mountain in the back? So you guys went through some shit with this person, but it actually, I mean, it taught you some really tough lessons, basically. It made you grow, but it was like a very uncomfortable situation, very painful situation. I'm getting like the caterpillar turning into a butterfly when they go into their cocoon and they kind of like turn into mush and then they evolve being this beautiful butterfly. So it's causing a nice transformation for you, but it was painful and it was icky and it was messy. Hey, Anne. Welcome to my new followers. I see you babies. Welcome to the family, to all the new followers. Page of Swords. So there's someone new here that's thinking about you. They could be an air sign, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or a Taurus. But you, you are meeting somebody new. And you're on their mind a lot. And they want to talk to you. They want to see you. It could start out kind of like casual. Some of you guys are like meeting through a friend or you're out with friends and that's how you meet this person. Or you could have a friend that tells you to like get on a dating app. There's something about the people around you being involved in you meeting up with this new person. So you could meet through friends or you could be friends with this person first and then it turns into something more romantic. Big D daddy. Okay. This is your, this is a match too. Cause you guys would be the queen of wands and this is a king of wands. So you guys are meeting somebody that 
you're going to get along really well with. You're both very attracted to each other. They think about you a lot. They're like wanting to get to know more about you. Wanting to get into a more intimate place with you. Yeah, whoever this is, you get along really well. It's like not only is there a romantic connection, but you guys are like friendly with each other. You like talking to each other. Okay. What else, Spirit? Tell us more about this situation. Three of Wands. I do feel like you're going to take things slow with this person, and it could be because you just got out of something that was really difficult. There's this vibe of, like, not wanting to jump into something really serious really quickly. So it feels like you're being cautious, you're taking your time, getting to know this person. It feels like you might not be ready to jump into something serious because of what you just went through. It's giving the taking things slow. Knight of Wands. Yeah, so you guys, it looks like you're worried. If you jump into something, you might end up getting hurt again and you're already like still healing you have like a fresh wound from somebody else so you're wanting to make sure that this new person or this newer connection is going to be consistent before you just jump into something you're taking your time and making sure that they're not gonna drop the ball with you making sure that they're consistent first so you guys are really protective of your heart right now. I can see that just because of the pain that you've been through recently. You're making sure that you can trust this person first. Like some of you just want to keep it like casual or just be friends for a little while first before you make things official with this person just because you want to make sure you can trust them and make sure you can rely on them because of what you just went through. So I'm just getting heavy vibes of you guys like wanting to take your time. Not wanting to jump any, you guys are being smart. That's part of that eight of cups. Like you've, you've learned your lessons well. So you're not going to repeat any past mistakes and you're going to be smart about how you deal with your love life. Yeah, you guys are being really like choosy is the word I'm getting. You're being like picky. Before I make an official decision, I want to make sure that it's right. So you're being very conscious about your choices in love now because of what you went through. You're not letting yourself, like, get all wrapped up in the newness of it and getting swept away and ending up screwing yourself over because you were blinded by the passion in the beginning. It's like you guys are staying very grounded and sensible and making sure you're making good choices for yourself before you go all in with something. You're just giving that vibe of being very careful with your heart. Four of Pentacles. Yeah, because the past is still definitely heavily on your mind. What happened to you before and the pain that it caused you. It's like you don't want that to happen again. So you're being very careful. It does feel, you know, like PTSD. Whatever happened to you in the past caused some sort of major trauma for you. It, it taught you a tough lesson like I was talking about. So it's something you'll never forget and it's something you're never going to let happen again. And you're just being really careful. You're not forgetting what you learned from this past situation that you had to walk away from. 
Okay. Good. I mean, it's good. Don't be like overly anxious, but it looks like you're not. It just feels like you guys are being really smart. It doesn't feel like you're being paranoid. Good morning, Australia. Ooh, we worldwide over here on TikTok. I love it. Australia. Okay, that's what I got for you, fire babies. Let's do air signs. Get your coffee, get your tea. I got my tea, my cute little teacup. Air babies, it's your turn. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Anybody that's dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, you guys can cross watch. Isn't that the cutest cup ever? I love it. There you guys are. Queen of air or king of air. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and anybody that is dealing with one. What's going on in your love life? What's happening? Thank you, Kim. Thank you for the gifts, you guys. Thank you, Tiffany. Welcome to the new followers. Hey, Faith. Welcome to the family, babies. Okay, we're just getting started with air babies. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. What is going on with Gemini, Libra, Aquarius? Talking, talking phase. Ooh, the talking phase is, oh, it's horrible. <laughs> I can't stand the talking phase. <sighs> I'm sorry for you, air signs. Okay, well, this is going somewhere. That's good. You got engagement ring. So moving from getting to know each other being interested in each other, to commitment, partnership, union. This is somebody that likes talking to you as well. They're very interested in you. They like talking to you. They like engaging with you is what Spirit just said. <laughs> Literally engagement. So this person also likes to have you around them. Ooh, they're obsessed. <laughs> okay, so you guys got somebody obsessed. They could be a Capricorn. This is Capricorn energy, but they don't have to be. They just really like you. Now I'm hearing that song, Come on baby, light my fire. <laughs> You're their desire. This person really likes you. They're feeling it. The chariot, cancer energy. Yeah, they want to move forward with you. This is charging ahead into commitment. Serious commitment. Like if you're already in a commitment, this could be like them actually proposing wanting to move in together. It's like taking the next step to make things official. This person's going all in because they really, really like you. Page of Wands. Yeah, they're excited about you. They love getting to know you. They're super interested. You intrigue this person. 
They really like the vibe between the two of you. They've never felt like this about anybody before. You get this person super excited. You give them like butterflies and all the good happy feelings. Fireworks. They feel fireworks. The death card. Scorpio energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. There could be a whole bunch of you guys that are resonating with this. I'm getting that your single era is over. Like things are getting serious. You're transitioning from, you could have been single for quite a while. You're transitioning to a different phase in your love life where things are getting really serious. Like you're going to be off the market, you know? I'm also getting that this person doesn't ever want to lose you. They want to like lock things down and make it official so that like <laughs> they're kind of possessive. They're obsessive and possessive. They're like, that's mine. Nobody else can have that. That's my air sign. <laughs> so they're wanting to make sure you're off the market and they can't lose you. Okay, tell us more. Yeah, this person's very motivated right now. Knight of Swords. They're wanting to take initiative with you. This person's ready to go. They're like really excited about you. They're ready to take action and move things ahead between the two of you. They want to do whatever they have to do to make this a long-lasting connection between you guys and make things official and see you. So this is somebody that like really likes to see you and spend time with you and talk to you. And I feel like they're going to be initiating conversations. Oh, okay, the Empress. So that's part of why they're obsessed with you. They think you are like exactly what they're looking for. You're their type. You check all the boxes. They like the vibe between the two of you. You have everything they want with what as far as like looks and the vibe goes. The way you act, the way you look, everything about you this person really likes. They feel like they can create a life with you. Yeah, they want to do life with you. They want to be your partner. Is that... <laughs> Look who it is. It's a divine match. The emperor and the empress. So yeah, they see you guys as being like a power couple together, being able to have it all together. They can see you guys being perfect for each other. This is literally divine masculine, divine feminine. They think you complement each other well. You guys mesh well together. You get along well. You're just exactly what they're looking for. They feel like you are their perfect match. That's crazy that these two are out together. I'm also getting the vibe like when you guys are out in public together, people notice you. People are drawn to you. Like you could have like like old folks coming up and talking to you guys and thinking you guys make such a cute like making comments like you guys are such a cute couple that type of vibe. Like when you're out, people are like, "Oh, look at that nice-looking couple." <laughs> it's cute. <laughs> Four of Cups and the Death card. This person's definitely, like, choosing you. I feel like they are not interested in any other option. I do feel like they have other options. There could be somebody from their past that they're, like, disconnecting with to be with you. Yeah, they're completing some sort of cycle from their past. So there definitely could be somebody that they're rejecting to be with you. 
they're choosing you. So it does feel like they have at least one other option that they, they're not interested in because they only want you. And you could have that same type of situation going on as well. Yeah, there's some, there's some sort of a third party around, but it's not anything that you would need to worry about because I'm getting that they're not interested in anybody else. And anybody that they might have been talking to before you, they're, they're not interested. They're not feeling it with anybody but you. Okay. That's what I got for you, Air Babies. I'm hearing that song, You're the One That I Want, from Greece. So they do have other options. But I feel like you do as well, because you guys were both coming out as the Emperor and the Empress, which is like, there's going to be a lot of people that like both of you. You both bring a lot to the table. All right, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Earth babies, it's your turn. What do we got for Earth signs? If you're dealing with an earth sign, you can cross-watch and see if it resonates. All the Taurus babies are here. Holy cow, there's a lot of Tauruses. Wow. Are you guys all Taurus? What the heck? <laughs> there's so many of you. Hey Taurus. Oh, there's my Cappies. My Capricorns are like, hey bitch, we're here too. <laughs> Don't forget about us. Hey Cappy. There was just a ton of Taurus energy though. Holy cow. love you guys too. Have I told you lately that I love you? I love you guys. My TikTok crew. Okay. Here we go, Earth Babies. What do we got? Thank you, Tiffany and Jen. You guys are spoiling me. Hello, spirit, are you there? There you are. Okay, well, when I was shuffling, I did see the snake and now you got the golden mirror. So there's a nasty energy around my earth babies. Yeah, okay, karmic relationship, yikes. What is going on, earth signs? Somebody here that is like low vibe around you. Somebody that has narcissistic traits. They're very cocky, self-absorbed. Somebody that triggers you. Somebody that teaches you really tough lessons. You could be really mad at this person right now. Yuck, okay. They could have done things that were just like, shocking unexpected i'm getting like horrible treatment somebody was treating you guys horribly making you real mad okay it says letting go and loving you so you might have put a lot of time and energy into this person and you feel like you wasted it I'm hearing like what a waste like you wish you hadn't done so much for this person given them so much this is an energy vampire so somebody that like takes 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 and didn't reciprocate sucking you dry and not in a good way the tower 
we're okay with sucking people dry, right? But not, not like that. <laughs> not like that. All right. Yeah, this person's like very cocky, very full of themselves. They like to have a lot of control. They could have been kind of controlling of you or jacking you around in the situation between the two of you. I am seeing that they did something to you that was just like shocking. Like you, I cannot believe you would say that to me or I can't believe you would do that to me. You feel super disrespected by this person. Yeah, look, mind games and control. Spirit was like, look at the bottom of the deck. Somebody that's manipulative. They might have love bombed you at first. Seven of Pentacles, you guys are reflecting. So at one point you didn't know that this person was like this. It's like they tricked you. They were coming through as being super manipulative. So at some point you realize this person is not who you thought they were. And now you're pissed. It looks like you're really irritated with them. And it also looks like you're going back and going, oh yeah, there, there were signs, you know, there were some red flags that maybe I kind of ignored or I didn't see right away. You're re-evaluating the situation and like realizing you didn't really know who this person actually was. And then they just started doing things that were really disrespectful. It looks like they threw you off. You're like, if I knew then what I know now, I would have never done what I did or given this person so much. Yeah, Nine of Pentacles. You're like, I'm better off alone, letting go and loving yourself. That is Nine of Pentacles. So regaining confidence, this person might have kind of rocked your confidence a little bit, made you feel a little unsure of yourself. They could have been saying some shitty things to you that made you like question yourself, questioning your worth. This is independent energy. Like, I'm better off... I can do bad all by myself. I just heard pain in the neck. <laughs> so this person just caused a lot of stress. You'd rather be alone than with this person. Three of swords. Okay. The message is loud and clear. This is somebody... I, I just heard hurt people hurt people. So this person has trauma in their past that they haven't healed. They need to go to therapy. They need to stop messing with people. They definitely messed with you. So this is somebody that's got a lot of issues. I mean, they got the golden mirror, and remember, I saw the snake at first, somebody that's self-absorbed, narcissistic, one-sided, they don't reciprocate things, they could love bomb you to manipulate you. It's a karmic situation. So this person's very low vibe, big ego, lots of pride, controlling issues. They're rude. We don't like them. They're somebody that hurts people, not just you. So this person has hurt multiple other people as well. You're definitely better off without this person. I feel like you know that now, but you kind of learned the hard way. It feels like things started out good. Like this person switched up on you or they're like very two-faced. Like Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde type of vibe. They can be really, really sweet, but they can also be really, really nasty. Four of Swords. Yeah, you guys are like healing. You need a break. You need 
some time to heal. I'm not seeing you jump into anything else after this person. It's like you need some time alone to kind of collect your thoughts, process what just happened. This person rocked your world and not in a good way. Like I said, <laughs> they sucked you dry and not in a good way. So yeah, you're loving yourself. So you're, you're like, Focusing on self-care, some of you guys could try to like clear your energy, clearing your mind, resting, collecting your thoughts, gaining your stability again after this person just like threw you off. It feels like you're kind of feeling sensitive right now. Some of you guys might need to cry, let some of the anger out, go to one of those rooms where you like smash things. That's what I'm getting here. You, you might need to let out some anger. Journal. Vent to somebody about what just happened. So there's just like a lot of processing the emotions that this per Yeah, rage room. Yep. Processing the emotions that just happened. Four pentacles. Because, yeah, it looks like you're you're still really mad. You're still feeling triggle, tri triggered. <laughs> Not triggered. Triggered and resentment. There's just like a lot of emotions, difficult emotions that this person is kicking up inside of you. Knight of Wands. Yeah, this is somebody that's hot and cold. This is somebody that is a player, too, for a lot of you. They were playing games with you. Being really inconsistent. I was feeling like they're coming in hot, and then they switch up on you. Like, they're super sweet to you. Love bombing. That is this energy of the Knight of Wands. Somebody that love bombs you and then gets cold and mean, breaks your heart, and it just feels like un you weren't, you didn't see it coming. There might have been some red flags, but this person is super manipulative. They're really smart. They know what they're doing. They could have read the art of something about the art of war is coming through so they could know a lot about like psychology they know how to mess with people's heads it's an icky energy for sure and it looks like you're having a hard time kind of letting go of what happened here it's going to take you some time to process this so be patient with yourself give yourself some time some of you need to spend some time alone. Some of you need to spend some time, like I said, in a rage room or venting to somebody about this situation to kind of regain your stability because this person definitely threw you off and it looks like it's going to be a pain that takes... It's like a fresh wound. You got to take care of it and nurture yourself. So that you don't end up bleeding all over somebody else, you know? You're going to have to do some healing. That is Four of Swords energy. Some healing and some letting go. You could be, like, really angry about love right now. Like, feeling like you don't really believe in love. There's just... There's stuff you're holding on to for a little while with this person that you're going to have to work through. Okay. That's what I got for Earth Babies. Earth Babies are going through it right now, sending you guys lots of warm energy to get through that tough time. Feels like you're mad that you went through that. You could be even like mad at yourself. Okay, let's get a goddess card for the collective, and we'll see what's going on overall with the Intuit Oracle deck. What's going on overall for my collective? 
Church. Collective consciousness programming. Interesting. There's a big energetic shift going on for my collective, probably because of the eclipse. We're, we have an eclipse tonight, and then there's another one April 8th, I think. So we're in eclipse season. There's going to be some huge shifts in the collective, the way that we're thinking, deprogramming ways of thinking. So changing the way we do things, bettering ourselves. says communion okay interesting church and communion <laughs> if you guys know anything about church that's literally one of the traditions at church you go up and you get your little cracker for the body of christ and the blood of christ with the little glass of wine it's called communion interesting Easter is also coming up soon. There's something going on with religions. Ooh, I'm getting chills. What's going on with the collective? We got victory, trophy. Success, achievement, winning. The Hierophant, that's also really spiritual energy. The Hierophant can literally be like a priest. This is crazy. What is going on? There's something going on collectively about religion. I mean, there are some like major wars happening and things like that. This feels like spiritual, like the whole collective consciousness. This is deep, you guys. I don't even know. The Crow. Magical powers, new events, omens. What the heck? I'm getting so many chills. I feel like this is, might not necessarily make sense to us yet. There's something coming. And it, this will end up making sense later because there's something going on, like worldwide. Let me read this. That's crazy. The Hierophant and the church. Magic, magical new events that we'll be observing. Okay. We're also in an election year, so this feels so deep, you guys. I feel like it's not going to make sense to a lot of us yet. So it says your intimate relationship with the invisible world is being called upon right now as you enter unfamiliar environments and situations. It's time to commune with this great goddess. The aspect of the conscious universe in her most collaborative form. The world then becomes your oracle as it opens up and communicates everything you need in the form of signs, omens, and messages. Oh my god, you guys, my hairs are standing straight up. You got the omen card, and it literally says signs, omens, and messages. This is crazy. I know some of you guys are like, what the hell are you talking about, Amy? And it just isn't going to make sense yet. 
Now is the time to pay attention to synchronicities and those moments when logic and reason fail to give you the full picture. That's exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> like, I can't even logically explain it to you right now because we don't see the full picture yet. This goddess reminds you of the time in her ancient temples when her priestess served his her priestesses served as oracles communing with this goddess and imparting wisdom to the people who sought guidance i feel like i'm gonna cry i'm like feeling super emotional all of a sudden look at everything in your life as an opportunity for communion losing the need for self-centeredness connecting to source in a sacred and intimate way you will not pray on your knees. You engage with the great goddess as a partner in co-creation. That is crazy because I was talking about communion and the church. And that's when you literally go up and get on your knees and sit in the front of the church and get your the body and the blood of Christ. This is wild, you guys. No one needs to rescue you when you act empowered, aware, and awake to the wondrous miracles you're a part of. When you refuse to see signs, it can ultimately take you down a path that you really don't want to be on. When red flags indicate something is not quite right, it's not a sign to jump in with both feet. It says this is not for you. This is not yet supposed to happen. This is yet to be revealed. If you choose to move forward stubbornly, you could find yourself back in an old lesson that you'd rather not face again. When you're attached to an outcome and unable to see any other options, you might say, the oracle said this wasn't in my best interest, but I'm going to do it anyway. So ignoring your gut and your intuition can end up screwing you over. The truth is that this goddess is offering an alignment task for you now to trust that the wisdom in the universe will provide with perfect form, but in divine timing. This means you might have to wait for a little while. Reconnect to your partnership with the divine and trust that you will not be left behind. Left Behind is literally a movie about rapture. What is going on, spirit? This is kind of crazy. Have you guys seen the Left Behind series? Do you know what I'm talking about? Some of you might. This connection is at the core of everything. Something's weird. <laughs> oh my god, you guys. Hold on to your butts. It feels like there's some big stuff happening. I don't even know. I don't know. I mean, ultimately, it's whatever it is, it's going to be for the greater good of all, but it feels like there's some crazy stuff coming up for everybody, the whole collective. <sighs> I am going to upload this, but yeah. Divine timing and trusting, having faith that everything's going to work out. But yeah, there's some, there's some wild energy happening. Okay, pay attention to the signs. Don't ignore your intuition. Don't be stubborn. Don't try to control things too much. Like, go with the flow. This feels much bigger than just love life. I hope you guys understand kind of what I'm saying. If you don't now, you might want to watch this again in a little while. Um, sometimes I channel like a month ahead. So April, there could be some big stuff happening after that second eclipse. <sighs> that was intense. I'm feeling like super intense energy. Okay, well, I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> that was crazy. Um, 
yeah, I'm going to get this uploaded to YouTube so you guys can rewatch it. You're welcome. Thanks for connecting with me, you guys. Thank you, everybody that sent gifts. And you guys tapped in almost 100,000 times. That's a lot of tapping. You guys, we're just tapping away. Thank you, Gina. I know I'm shook right now. Like, I'm, I'm like, whoa, spirit, what the hell was that? Something's crazy. Something crazy is going on. Okay. Well, we'll see. Just go with the flow, I guess. I love you guys. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. It was good to connect with you. And I will see you all next time. Bye, hotties.